I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bill of material in SIN 7. So first of all, we need to find where the top secret place is that bill of materials are created. We go to the product screen, which we're on. We pull up the product that we want to create a bill of material for, which we have. And then this tiny little gear button right here gives us an opportunity to select bill of material or bomb. That's the place to go. Click on that. And then it takes us to the screen that allows us to create a bill of material. Down here on the bottom, let me zoom in, you'll see this area that already has the product code there, 3000 UL and then the product name. Then there's this column that says make bomb. Click on that and select make. Then it gives us a few more lines that pop up down below. There's three lines and we're, really we need a lot more because we're going to create this bill of material that already shows up here in QuickBooks Desktop. So I've got a QuickBooks desktop bill of material up on the screen, and it's a 3000 UL or an ultimate 3000. And what that is, is a pool cover, something like this. So we're going to reference this list of items and enter them into the SIN 7 screen. And in this video, we're going to manually key them in. I think that's always a good way to start when you begin using the software. Create one or two bills of material and test them out first before you start importing the rest of the bills of material in mass. What we really want is more use lines up here. So we're going to highlight the top line and select insert row below. We can select either one of these lines and select insert row below. We want the light blue highlight that says use. So the add new line added lines below, and we want the insert row below line. So we have our lines. Now we want to start entering in the codes for these lines. So I'm going to position my bill of material from QuickBooks desktop strategically to the right so I can see it and start entering in the parts. Labor, it pulls it up. I hit enter, enter the quantity of labor hit enter again, it goes to the next line. Utilities, if I don't finish typing it, it doesn't grab it. Type it all the way out, hit enter, then it'll grab it. I can enter a quantity, hit enter. I can also click tab as well, tab does it. Enter brings it to the next line. Notice in some cases the part has a cost in there already and some of them don't have a cost in. So the ones that do have a cost in there already, we like. So I may have to go back to see how I imported these parts. I must have missed the cost or put it in the wrong field. Quantity 22, cost 484. So you'll see it starts to become painful manually entering the quantity. There's another way to get the quantity in there. We can print this bill of material to a PDF and convert the PDF to an Excel spreadsheet. I've done that here export it to a PDF and convert it to a spreadsheet. And we can copy all of these items and paste them in. Another way to do it is to go to your QuickBooks IIF file and go to File, Utilities, Export, List to IFF, select Item List and export your item list. If you do that, then it sends an IFF to your desktop here. Let's pull this over and show you the IFF file I've got there. And if you click on this IFF file, IIF, geez, get it right. It's not going to open. So first open Excel. I'll go to File, Open. Go to File, Open and browse to your desktop. Make sure to select all files 
instead of just Excel files. It's going to default to all Excel files. Change it to all files and then select your IFF folder. It will translate it to a CSV file. Allow it to delineate it. Go ahead and do the tab delineator. And now we've got an IFF file. Scroll down and you will see a bill of material with a header. The header says assembly there. And then you'll see the items on the bill of material. So these items here have a colon separating the category from the actual code. Since 7 wants the code, so we'll need to delete those categories. You can use text to columns, or I can just quickly delete them just on this one bill of material for what we're doing for this exercise. So we want to find the part that we're doing right now, and that's the ultimate 3000. Whether you go the IFF route or the PDF converted to the Excel route, you still have the problem with the category and the item code separated by the colon. So you still have to make that conversion. In SIN 7, the last part we entered was the dr-4-al. So with the IFF file, we want to copy from that part and grab the rest. So we're going to select this row right here. Select Copy. Come back over to SIN 7. And there's an Actions button. We'll say Bulk Load Products. We'll click on that. Control V as in Victor to paste. And click OK. Now watch them go in. Let's see how it did. Began with the, the part on the top of the row where we left off. And went down, down, down. Copied them all in there. But we didn't count our rows properly. That might be a problem. We want that to be use. And I've run into a problem with this before. If we click on this field and select use, it's going to make it a parent part. Currently, it's November 12th, 2019. And that's how it works right now. That might change in the future. So I'm going to select this row and say insert row below. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to move them up here. Oh, didn't copy right. Let's try that again. Seems to be grabbing. Oh, yeah, I, that's what I want. So it's after the Hito is where we want this. That goes there. So the lesson to be learned here is make sure you have enough light blue rows before you do the bulk add. I'm going to delete these. Delete, 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 delete. So now we need to get the quantities right. We've got the parts in there. Now we just need to make sure the quantities are in there. I'll reference my QuickBooks file and put these quantities in. And we also need the costs in there using my mouse and my 10 key. Now it looks like we missed the STRE, the strain relief, so I'm going to add that. Once again, coming down here and select Insert Row Below. One of those at a cost of $45. Okay, let's see how we did with the total at the top here. The total cost was $4,704.65. And here it's telling us, whoa, way more than that. Looks like I see the, the problem here. We got a quantity and a cost wrong, so let's fix that. Make sure the costs and the quantities are all correct and lining up properly. We're getting closer. Still not correct, so let's keep looking for other mistakes. Oh. This is supposed to be 50 cents, not $50. Okay. Now our total cost in SIN 7 matches our total cost in QuickBooks. Now SIN 7 allows us to save it as a draft if we need it approved by someone else. Or just go ahead and approve it and back to the list. So I'm going to approve and back to the list. 
Now we have a bill of material in the file that we can use to create a work order, which SIN7 calls a production job. So if we click on new production job, we can now select the ultimate 3000, select make, specifically select make new bomb from master bomb. So now that we have a master bomb, we can select that and we're ready to use it.